Hi there Libra, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 11th of January. Now you have a reputation for diplomacy, but you can also be much more blunt when it suits you. And it's possible over the last few days before the start of this week that you may have been more cutting in what you've had to say or how you felt about someone close to you. And they may still be coming to terms with the points that you've been trying to make. And as you make your way into this new week, you may still be feeling really quite clipped and not quite so generous or warm of spirit when it comes to saying how you feel. Yet all of this is because of the collection of energy which is still swirling around your sector of emotions and the foundation of your world because you're trying to find your equilibrium in the most important area. Now some of this could be more practical in terms of where you live, some of it could be more how you interact in terms of your closest ties. Now we all want to feel that we can exchange sentiments and be appreciated and acknowledged with the people that are closest to us. But if there is somebody who seems to be very unaware of just where your situation is at the moment, it could still be causing a profound amount of frustration. And with the new moon last week clashing with Uranus, which of course has been such an aggravant in recent years and created such a level of unpredictability in your relationships, one minute you may feel it's fine, the next minute you may be unsure. One minute you want to be intimate, the next minute have a bit of space. And that's still rocking around in the background too. But this week does give you something of a bonus ball in the form of Mars. Now Mars is in a more sensual location now, or one which makes you more appreciative of money and your self-worth. But this week is forging a fine link with Neptune, and it can make you a bit more self-sacrificing, a bit more aware of that person close to you who perhaps doesn't get your circumstances. And it can help you to extend rather more generosity of spirit. And also Mercury, the planet of communication, which at the moment can see you feel a bit defensive, bottling up emotions, or working things around in your mind that almost uh, are much more to do with matters very much in your past. Well, that's forging a fine link with Jupiter, even though they both continue to track backwards. And that can help you to make some stunning insights. And once more, help you to understand the big picture in a way which can guide your moves. But I think it's later this week that things are really going to start to unfold in a much more dynamic way for you. Because your ruler then forges a terrific link with Uranus. And it's your ability to be non-judgmental in some ways, in a way that other people don't always get, to be very fair-minded and to see that even if other people's experiences are different to yours, that they're entitled to those, that can help you to forge a much closer alliance with someone and yet still give you the space to be that's so important for your inner sense of, 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 of peace and tranquility. And by the end of this week, I think you can be feeling a lot more settled by where things stand than at the beginning. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.